if I came to you, if I came to you and I asked you, I said, if I said, Nick, I just, I really feel strong about doing new things the natural way, and I want my life to get better, and I don't know how to do that. Where do I start? What do I do? What's the most important thing? Well, I guess I would say the first thing would be nutrition, because it just can have such an impact on our lives, <clears throat> and I think that a lot of people don't realize how important it is, and unfortunately it's really hard for us to have good nutrition in our day and age. So where do we go with that if nutrition is hard to get? I guess maybe just our society, because we, just with what people are used to, you know, like fast food type of stuff and processed grocery store type of food. And it seems to be a small fraction of people that go to organic sources. And so... But it's expensive. It is expensive. Organic <laughs> stuff is expensive. So if you have a huge family, like I've got a big family, how do you do this? I've had trainers try to say, hey, eat this way. And I said, I can't feed my whole family that way. That's expensive. What would you say? You grew up in a big family, and yet your mom did it too, though. She did organically, didn't she? Um, no. <laughs> I think she... <laughs> <laughs> she survived like she the survived, rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I guess that's true. And if... It's not a possibility for like perfect organic food. There's also supplements that you can take that will help add to the nutritional value of your life. Mm -hmm. And that, well, you know, and I guess I could split it up into different categories of wellness because there's physical, there's a physical body, and that would be the nutrition would be the most important. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess then the spiritual. And for that, the thing that I advise to people most of the time is maintaining a good relationship with God, regardless of any any religion that you belong to. Um, well, I mean, all of them teach about a God, so just keep your relationship good, you know, try to get to that core of it. Um, and then emotionally, well, that seems to be really hard for people to be healthy with as well because of the as well we go through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we know as massage therapists that it gets trapped in the muscles, but... There's a lot of junk to clear with emotions. But it also is very easy to, you know, and things that I tell people as well is that you just tell somebody how you're feeling and it doesn't really have to change the situation, but it'll change it for you. Like, there's maybe an awareness yeah, an awareness. To the situation. There is one lady that I remember she, her husband had to work out of state in Texas and she was still here in Utah. Mm -hmm. And she kind of, she after prompting, she said that she was, um, she was kind of upset that he did, that he left. Um, but it was needed for their family. And I told her to say, well, just tell him how you feel, but don't say, come back to Utah because you need to stay there, but just tell them that I feel like I'm, I was left here. And that will just validate it for you. So I guess just simple, for the emotional side, just you know, tell you how you feel. How does that show up for you in your life when you're living a life of well-being? Well, I can just see a picturesque thing in my mind where I'm standing with my arms outstretched in a meadow somewhere in the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no there's no restrictions or you know no problems of any kind. And I'm just free to live however I want, I guess. Nice. And that's, you know, the nutrition well well it is to me is that, you know, not not having something over your head that you, you know, like a disease or anything like that that stops you from doing things that you want to do. Nice. Oh, freedom! <laughs> yes. Yeah, freedom! Okay, very good.
Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. When I started meditating, it really took it beyond... Beyond prayer is what meditating is to me. So it's like prayer times 10. Um, and I don't know if it's the same way with everybody. Maybe it is just me because I interact better with um, the energy fields that happen or uh, something like that. But when I, I remember times in the past where I've had prayer experiences and I felt myself transported to the presence of God. Um, but it happened a few times when I was praying before, but it happens a lot more often when I do meditation. For me, meditation was, uh, was very eye-opening yes, and spiritual awakening for me. <laughs>